Hello everyone. In previous video, we have seen the flat belt drive animation. In this video, we'll see how to make V belt drive animation in SolidWorks. If you don't watch flat belt drive animation, please watch it. I have provided the link in the description of this video. So let us start for making the V belt drive animation. So go to the file over here, select new part, click on OK. Now here we'll draw bigger V pulley. So select the front plane, sketch on it, draw a circle. Over here, OK. Smart dimension them. So this will be 250 mm diameter and this will be 40 mm diameter. Ok, we will draw one more circle whose diameter will be 20 mm and its distance from the center will be 70 mm. Ok, we will select this circle and we will go to the circular sketch pattern over here. We will keep the number of pattern 5. Say Ok. Now simply go to the feature extruder boss base. We will extrude it by a 50 mm. Say OK. Now in order to make V pulley, we will cut a trapezoidal curve on its outer periphery. So select the top plane and sketch. Make it normal too. So here will draw a trapezoidal curve. So select the line, draw the line over here in this way. Escape. Make this line to be for construction. OK. Now give the end distances from here to here. The distance will be 5 mm. From here to here, the distance will be 5 mm. Okay. This total distance will be 15. And this distance will be a 10 mm. Okay. Now we will select these two and we will go to the mirror entities, mirror about this reference line. Ok, so here we have drawn a trapezoidal curve and we will simply revolve cut. So go to the revolve cut and here we need to select the axis. So simply go here and visible the axis from here. So you can see the axis over here. So this will be the center axis. Select this and say OK. So in this way, the material will be removed. So this is looking in a V shape. So this is what a V pulley, right? So control save this as a. So select over here, save it in a new folder. Select new folder, rename it as a V belt. Open this folder and save this part as a pulley pulley one. Okay. Now we'll go on sketching the smaller pulley. Similarly, select a part. Okay. So again, we'll go on a front plane sketch. Again, we'll draw circles. Similarly. Okay. We'll smart dimension them. This to be 125 mm, this to be 20 mm, this to be 10 mm, we will give its distance from the center to be 35 mm, select again, 35 mm. Okay, 
okay we'll select this two and make it vertical okay now select this circle go to the circular sketch pattern again we'll pattern five okay now go to the feature extruded boss base select here 50 mm okay right now again we'll select the top plane sketch on it make it normal too again we'll draw a trapezoidal curve onto this right escape so select this one and make it for construction okay now select the dimension from here to here will be 5 mm this dimension from here to here this dimension from here to here will be again 5 mm this direction dimension will be 15 and this will be 10 mm okay so again we'll select these two and mirror entities mirror about this line okay so this will be 40 mm escape okay exit the sketch or you will go to the feature revolve cut now here we will select the center axis so just clear this section and select the center axis and say okay so this will be a revolve cut so this is what a smaller pulley so control save this as a pulley 2 pulley 2 now we'll move on to the assembly so go to the file new part sorry assembly okay so we'll be into assembly work environment now so here we'll select the front plane again sketch we'll draw two circle on this front plane okay so here we will define the dimension between them to be a 400 mm okay simply exit the sketch from here and we'll go to insert component browse we we'll simply select these two open so this will open one by one here now simply go to the mate before that we'll make it to be float now go to the mate select this inside faces and the circle make the concentric mate ok now select the front plane over here and this back face say coincident ok again we'll select the inner face of the smaller pulley and this circle making the concentric mate ok select this face now and this face making the coincident relation ok 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 now we'll just hide this face sorry cancel this we'll just select this and hide this ok now we'll go to the assembly and here you can see assembly feature that is a belt engine so we'll first select, select the driver so this bigger pull will be the driver we we'll select this inside face and this face now here we will go down and we'll create a belt part simply say ok save and continue so we'll save it as a v belt drive okay now we'll go to the part this and just open this part so this will be open into the part environment now here we will sketch something so first of all select the right plane go to the reference geometry select the plane so it will take some time after that you will select this point so this plane will coincide with this point say ok now we select this plane and sketch on it make it normal too now we'll draw a 
here the profile in this way. Escape. Just trim the entities. Yes. So here we'll select OK. We'll select this and make it for construction. OK. Give the smart dimension. So this will be 20. OK. This will be 10. OK. And this will be 15. OK. Now we'll select all these three and we'll go to the mirror entities and mirror about this center line. So one is not selected over here. So select this also. OK. Now we'll just select this midpoint and this point on the curve and make it to be a coincident over here. OK. Now go to the features or you can say simply exit the sketch. Now here you can see swept boss base. Select this feature. The curve is already selected. We will select the guide. So this will be the guide. OK. So in this way it will create. Say OK. Now just hide this. Control save this and exit from here and say just yes. So this will update into our assembly environment. So simply hide this again. Now this is our V-belt drive. We'll just give a color to this V-belt drive. So simply select a pulley over here. OK. Go again, give color to this smaller pulley. OK. Go to the color again. For the belt, we'll select a black color. From here, say OK. Right. So you can look here. So we'll simply go to the animation now. So go to the motion study over here. Now here, in the animation, we'll select first the motion study properties. So we'll keep 16 frame per second. OK. We'll select the motor, select the inside face and make the RPM to be 5 RPM. Say OK. And we'll simply increase the play time to 12 seconds. And click on a calculate. So it will take. So you can see there is belt is moving motion. So this is basically what V belt drive motion. So play, back, play it back again. You can see a smooth motion is there. All right. So this is basically a V belt drive animation. So we have created a V belt whose cross section will be what? Trapezoidal. So this is all about V belt drive. Hope you like this tutorial. Thank you for watching.